Coach Beck does a good job, obviously, in recruiting, and he, he can eye the, you know, he eyes talent well, and he understands that he can get them shaped and molded and moving in the right direction. And again, it goes back to the guy has a Hall of Fame here. I think he knows how to play wide receiver. I, I think he can help you be a better wide receiver. He's a good man, good man, good values, strong character. You know, good, good to be in the foxhole with. As a coach, as a man, I think Beckton may be one of the most respected guys from the player's standpoint, from the coach's standpoint, and just around campus. You know, a guy that leads UCF, that uh, is an alum, is a Hall of Famer here, is uh, just incredibly well thought of, uh, just a, a good human being in the coaching profession. My history has, has been to develop guys, and, and um, I, I take a lot of pride in you know trying to get those guys ready to go each and every year. He's a great recruiter and a great coach, and uh, has a passion for the game, played it, played it at a high level. Uh, I think the players really relate to Coach Becton too in a lot of different ways. My game has improved, you know, strides and, and it's just me trusting the coaching that he's given me and, and me taking his word. I ask the questions when I need to know something and he's really just been there for me to help me out. I'm really appreciative of what he brings to the table. I think that's what makes Coach Becton so special. Not only is he just your coach, he's like your father and he really takes that serious. You know, calls you and checks up on you and, you know, check on your parents. And, you know, just ask you how's life, how you doing, how's school, how's football, are you catching on? It, it's becoming a relationship. It's not more of just on the field, hey, you did this wrong in practice, or you need to come watch film. It's it's a, it's a relationship, and that's what brings you closer as a, as a football player with your position coach. I mean, you can probably ask any receiver, any guy he's coached, and they'll tell you that they still have a relationship with him. As a coach, as a, as a coach on this level, any level, you got to have the passion and want to be out there. And my biggest thing is to uh, shape young men you know, as a coach. And you know, sometimes we have to be there, you know, off the field and try to help grow the young men. And that's the biggest thing here. I think God put me on earth, you know, to hear as a coaching profession to uh, help mentor and uh, grow the individual. You know, every day I bounce up out of bed, I come in, you know, ready to work and. You know, try to figure out what's going on, what's going to happen today. I know something, something's going to happen to where somebody's going to need my, my advice on something. And uh, generally, you know, I'm, I'm there available for him. Consummate pro. You know, he is uh, the type of coach that you would not have a problem having your son play for. Because he's going to learn not only football, but he's going to learn life lessons. Everybody that he's worked with, his track record speaks for itself the type of guys he's developed, whether young, whether older guys, they're gonna get the full gamut from him. He'll, they'll get the full meal deal, I call it. You know, not only football, but life. Now he doesn't talk about his glory days that much, but uh, everyone else does. So um, I guess that lets you know how impressive of a football player he was. Obviously an All-American, very impressive football player here and excited he's part of our staff. My playing style was a um, you know, very passionate player. Uh, obviously, I caught the ball extremely well, ran good routes. The old saying back when we were playing is, you better get in the stands early because you know, UCF's got some kind of gadget play and you know, Sean Beckton's gonna come out with something, you know, as far as a reverse pass or a reverse or throwing it to Sean Jefferson. You know, we always had something in the midst and you know, early on in the game, try to strike early. Coach Beck is a great receiver here, Hall of Famer and he really looks at the intricate details of, of route running and, and getting open. I stayed in that film room. I wanted to be best, the best, and you know, that's one of the reasons why I was able to, to do the things that I, that I did here. I learned the game, I studied the game, and you know, tried to figure out what was the best way to beat the guy in front of me. And, and I had the, the passion. I want to beat the guy in front of me. I can, always remember this and you know going across the middle in practice and you know caught a ball and, and the Mike linebacker Mike Cole you know didn't see him and knocked me stiff you know I, and I bounced back up and looked at him and went back to the huddle and ever since that day uh, the rest of the team knew I was ready to play and you know from there that kind of gave me the confidence to go out and compete you know, and play at a, at a high level. Coach Beck as a player, I mean, you can you can definitely tell him he was a local kid, you know, from right up the road about an hour away. And, you know, as a football player, you know, he's probably one of the most talented receivers I got a chance to ever see, you know, from what he can do. Because he 
he didn't just do it all. I mean, his NCAA record in one game, he caught a pass for a touchdown, ran a touchdown in, threw a pass for a touchdown, and returned a kick for a touchdown. He's begging the coach to put him in on the other kicking game so he can return one. The coach told him no, because they were already up five touchdowns. They couldn't have any more. They didn't want to put any more up. You know, it was my last, quote unquote, was going to be my last home game. We didn't know what was going to happen in the playoffs that year. You know, I had an opportunity, you know, catch a punt for a touchdown, uh, throw one for a touchdown, catch a pass, and then run a reverse in for a touchdown. And, you know, one of the proudest moments, you know, of my career because my parents were, they weren't able to make every game. My parents were there for that game. And obviously, they walked me out. It was a senior night. They walked me out on, on the um, field before the game. So, it was a special night for me, and you know, obviously we, we blew the team out, and uh, you know, uh, obviously I had a great game, and I think it's still an NCAA record.